What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is another Friday which means Zur has returned to the tower so let's take a look and see what he's offering to us this weekend. Speak with me. So here we go, here's his inventory for the weekend. Let's go through the exotics. So first up for the Titan, we have the insurmountable skull fort, melee hit, replenish grenade energy, replenish health when you pick up an orb, and storm fist kills, regenerate health, and also spawn with melee energy. Really good, a Titan helmet for the quotas and hard mode raid, cause the quota fight, it allows you to replenish health when you pick up an orb. Really good. If you don't have this yet for your Titan, go ahead and pick it up. It's pretty good for that specific reason. For the Hunter, we have the Knucklehead Radar. Grenade hits restore melee energy. More super energy from non-guardian kills. And radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. Not bad of a helmet in my opinion. Uh, pretty decent in Crucible since your radar stays up. That's always helpful in Crucible especially. But sometimes if you want to use like the Symbiote or Master Third Man, those are also really good choices as well. For the Warlock, we have the Claws of Ahamkara. Gain additional charge for Scorch and Energy Drain. Increase reload speed with special weapons and also increase melee attack speed. Pretty good for PvP, I like these a lot because of that double melee, especially if you're a Sunsinger, that melee that gives you the shield is really good, especially when you're activating Radiance, it's ridiculous. If you want to use it in PvP, I'd recommend trying it out, it's pretty decent exotic. And then for the exotic weapon, we have the Red Death Pulse Rifle, each kill heals you and speeds up reloads and it's easier to aim under fire using this weapon. Really good weapon for the Crota Zen fight as well. If you're not using like a Galahorn, um, you can use this if you're the Sword Bear. Also, ever since they patched the uh, Pulse Rifles and all the guns, this thing is a beast in the Crucible now, so you can go ahead and try it out for yourself. Crucible is going to be pretty interesting because everyone's going to have this now. So uh, go ahead and pick it up. It's good for the Crota fight and for Crucible now, so pretty good. And then we have the Exotic Engram, and it's a helmet this time. For the upgrades, we have Mask of Third Man and Lucky Raspberry for the Hunter. Mask of Third Man is the better one, in my opinion. For the Titan, we have Helm of Saint 14 and Inmost Light. Helm of Saint 14, hands down, is the better one. And then for the Warlock, Lebion Nemesis and Sunbreakers, I'd recommend Lightbeat Nemesis over Sunbreakers just because this one also has the replenish health when you pick up an orb perk. For the guns, we have Hard Light, Red Death, also Universal Remote, Plan C, Patience and Time, and the Truth Rocket Launcher. Uh, but all these are pretty good. Um, Universal Remote and Plan C, and a Patience and Time, pretty good guns. Truth is also a pretty decent gun. You're probably not going to upgrade this because you can just buy it outright and hard light is okay. Probably not the strongest one out of the bunch though. For the curio section, we see heavy ammo synthesis once again. He brought it to us even though the guy said that he wasn't going to bring it this week. Also, he said that there was going to be different stuff, but I think Bungie patched it in that recent patch uh, this this week, the beginning of this week I believe. So uh, go ahead and stock up on some more heavy ammo synthesis if you need to. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Red Death is really good. Go pick it up. There's going to be a lot of hype this week. Zer did a good job. Good job, Zer. And that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys later. Peace.